All right, so we are back with Mr. Jeffrey's Algebra 2. Uh, <clears throat> this would not be Algebra 1 in the state of Alabama because rationals is not part of this stuff in Algebra 1 anymore. All right. Again, thank my subscribers. Go ahead, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. Okay. I'm about to smash some bros if they don't turn the volume down. Now, so we would cross multiply. And this is the main part of what we're doing today. The second part of what we're doing actually leads in to something for tomorrow because it's a little bit lengthy. Okay. So we cross multiply. And, you know, we distribute. What I think is funny is that this part right here, this whole cross multiply thing, that's that's what separates the concept from being an Algebra 1 to Algebra 2 standard. Exactly, yo. All right. So, you know, we distribute, move the constants one side, divide by the coefficient, and we get p equals 7. This, some of this stuff, if it seems fairly easy to you, that's good. That's what I want it to seem easy to you. Um, <clears throat> what's going to be really fun is tomorrow when it's a little bit lengthier and some people are like, what the way? So, yeah, I really wish I had another camera to catch people's faces as they go. All right. Moving on. So we cross multiply, we get 18. 3 times 2c plus 2. So this would be 6c plus 6. Get a little Christmas colors here. And I just totally messed up my color scheme, but it's okay. All right, so 2 equals C. Speaking of color scheme, has anybody noticed a theme for the colors of your handouts for this week? Ah, very good, because... <clears throat> so Monday, we started off with green. Tuesday, we had... Red, so those two colors are mainly associated traditionally with Christmas. Uh, and then gray, because sometimes in the winter, it's kind of gray. In the south, it's just brown. It's, it's, it's just brown. And then today is blue, because my favorite Christmas song is Porky Pig singing Blue Christmas. Bleep, bleep, bleep. And... Tomorrow will probably be uh, a bright yellow or something for like candle burning for our Hanukkah friends. All right. Number two. So this is, whoa. Eight times three is not eighty-three, Mr. Jeffries. It's twenty-four. Yeah, I totally almost really messed that one up. All right. This was a problem uh, <clears throat> that I had a student in second block. They got kind of confused that they were wondering how I got my final answer. They did everything right to this point, and then they took a left turn at Albuquerque. They divided both sides, but they divided both sides by 24. They forgot to divide by negative 12, okay? Which, again, you know, you're human. You're going to make some small mistakes like that. Um, that's why I like grading the way I do uh, on some stuff. All 
Yes. Yes. Yeah, I just, I'm lazy. Uh, if, and I would just leave it as negative equals Y. If somebody writes Y equals negative two, it's fine. If some, some people will just do negative two. Yeah, nine times out of 10, when you see it on like a standardized test, it will be like this. Okay. Yeah, some people do have a variable side preference. Um, that's absolutely fine. Next page. Okay. Is, oh, what? All right. We're not going to solve this one. We're actually just going to uh, set it up. Y'all could solve this one. This is a super easy one. Hopefully. Got a little barking going on. All right. Honestly, for these for these type problems, I would ask you what would what would the equation next step look like after you did cross multiplication, and only have like two problems of that because it, they're kind of you know after you cross multiply, that's not a big deal. The big deal is what's coming up next. Not this one. I thought I thought I was further along than I was. I thought I was about to move on to what's about to be on the back of y'all's paper. Well, you can, but I'm not, <clears throat> y'all can do it later. It's not a, um, massive thing to understand right now. We can come back to it. I just, for, for timing purposes. Yeah. It's like those things when you watch a replayed like football game or something, Due to time constraints, we're moving ahead. <laughs> All right. Now, I do want to do number five. <clears throat> because when I picked this one yesterday, I was like, wait, something doesn't smell right about this. This looks like we're going to have to factor and everything. And then I started digging into it. Okay. What do we know about anything over itself? Very good. It's equal to one. So we could actually rewrite this one to be like this. Okay. Which is, I promise, I could show you the longer way, but this is the way you would want to do it. All right. Well, how can we write one as a fraction? One over one. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait that long. Okay, I was like, I got to like 10 in my head and I was like, ah! <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> now, if we did cross multiply this, all right, this would be an easy thing to figure out that it would in, you know, you would subtract one from both sides and we would get, uh, x equals negative 4, or if you had it like I was originally going, this way. All right. So, and I had to go back and look at it this morning. I was like, wait a minute. This, there has to be an easier way. And I really, I know some of y'all's easier way is, let me use my photo math. All right. This is the big thing. This is the, we're planting a seed for tomorrow, okay? Uh, because this is actually what we're leading into. Now, the LCD is nothing more than the least common multiple of the denominators, okay? Which is the bottom part. And sometimes with the least common multiple, you actually have to multiply all the denominators to make them be the same. All right. So if we look here at example one, we have X, three, and one. Nothing shares anything similar. So we could technically multiply these together. So what's, 
what would be the LCM, I mean, LCD of this? Like, no, not factor, multiple. What What's the smallest number that each of those numbers on the bottom can go into? No. The answer to this is actually 3x. These will go into them, not what's the biggest thing that you can divide out of them. All right, it's very similar to like if you had uh, 2 thirds plus 4 fifths, okay? Before you are allowed to use a calculator that will do it for you if you enter it in this way, you would have to say, well, what's the least common denominator between 3 and 15? Well, or 3 and 5, and I just said it. Yeah. Okay, 15. Now, <clears throat> as far as, um, you know, this, if you don't have your least common denominator, you can't do anything else. Okay? And that's actually going to be a main part. Uh, we were looking at it last block that I showed them the, the gist of the handout for tomorrow. And I said, most of the problems we're doing tomorrow are actually problems we did today, just finding the least common denominator. Tomorrow we're taking it a little bit further, okay? Yeah, for some odd reason, this least common denominator thing, a lot of people are like, it's, it's really throwing them off, um, which is kind of odd because, you know, yesterday we added subtracted with the least common denominator, so. Do -do 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 -do. All right, example two. All right, follow the pointer. All right, over here is x minus 2. We have an x and an x. Now, these two are the same, so that helps. But you have to think about what does, like, what would this denominator need to match this over here? An X, okay? What would this denominator mean to match this over here? All right, now, the X minus two is actually a separate entity. Um, it's not the same as just X or anything, so you kind of have to, um, you know, be very cautious about that. And again, we will step through them. Um, so, all right. This one's kind of similar. I think I know what you were meaning. You just said it absolutely wrong. And that's weird that I could understand that. And and adults wonder why I'm immature. <laughs> Not really. I just have better jokes than them. Now, so think about it. This has an X plus 5, and these are Xs. Yeah, so this side over here would need a what? Okay. These two would need what to match this? Yeah, x plus 5. Yeah, that's it. Now, as far as the learning lesson goes, that's it, short and sweet. I'm going to let the students here work on some of these on their own. Uh, for those that are watching, thank you. Leave a good comment. Or even better yet, leave something really funny. Because... I've been told I'm not funny, but I am hilarious. All right. So that's canon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So again, thanks to all the subscribers. Don't forget to hit the bell, hit the like, hit the, hit the, the bell, the like, the subscribe. I think that's all of it. All right. Good stuff. Good things. Roll time.